To make the jellyfish, you will need some sort of paper lantern, some E6000 glue or another type of glue like hot glue, some scissors, and some crepe paper. Now because I'm working on a nicer table, I went ahead and put down some craft paper just to keep my surface clean, but it is not necessary. It's just something I wanted to do so that I did not ruin my table underneath. So what you're going to do is you're going to take streamers or crepe paper in different colors. I might got different shades of blue, and you're going to fold it back and forth like an accordion. It's really simple. It's actually not going to take you a ton of time. And I'm going to just go back and forth. I kind of, there's no uh, rhyme or reason to when I stop. I just kind of get to a point where I'm kind of like, oh, I'm just going to cut this off because it's too much for my fingers to hold. And then you're going to simply cut it in half. Now, because it's video, some will magically appear in some of the other shades of blue because I already went ahead and cut a bunch ahead of time so that you wouldn't have to sit and watch me fold and cut all of the crepe paper. So now I'm going to go through and I'm just going to cut the strands of crepe paper into different sizes. I don't want my jellyfish to look like their tentacles are all one length. That'd be pretty boring. So I'm actually going to cut them in all different lengths so that way it gives them a little bit more interest. So now I'll go ahead and I'll fold some of my other colors. You see how quick, you know, once you start doing it, your fingers kind of get used to it and it can, you can move really quickly. I didn't actually speed the camera up for this. I promise I actually am doing it this quickly. So it really does not take long at all to make these tentacles. And I'll go ahead and I'll cut it in half again. And then I will undo them and I will trim my pieces. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video so that we can get to our next step. Now we are ready to get our E6000 glue. Oops, sorry, let me turn around. Um, we are going to take this. You can use hot glue instead or a different strong craft glue. We will put a tiny bit of this on the end of a tentacle, one of our little crepe pieces that we cut out earlier. Now you're going to press this gently on the lantern towards the bottom half of the lantern. It does not have to be perfect. Um, it can be kind of approximate, but I do it the bottom half or slightly below half. Now it is important that you alternate your colors and that you also are alternating the length of your crepe paper or your streamers. You don't want them to be the same length, otherwise your jellyfish is kind of going to look a little bit boring. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to glue them and I'm going to go all the way around my lantern until it touches the other side. Now we are going to be covering up the very top of this so that it does not need to be perfect. If it's not perfectly lined up, that's okay, but try to stay as close as you can to make, be, make life a little bit easier when we go to cover it up. So I'm going to go ahead and speed the video up a little. You can see me go ahead and put the crepe paper all around. Okay, now I have covered my lantern completely with the crepe paper. And I'm going to now use the dark blue. I need to go about the length of around the lantern. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because if you're a little long, you can always trim it. I'm going to just cut off a piece. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down the middle in like a wavy pattern. And as you can see, I did mine folded over just to make it a little uh, quicker to cut. Then you're going to put the glue on one end. You're going to put it on top of the very top of your crepe paper. Do you see that? So it covers up. Remember I told you we weren't going to see it. Let me show you again because I really just couldn't see that so well. So I'm going to put it at the very top. And then I'm just going to go around it like a band, almost like I'm putting a belt around the jellyfish. So here we go. We're going to put on this little dark blue belt so it looks complete. Put a little bit more glue as I go around. And I'm going to keep going until I get to the end. And like I said, if the length is not perfect, that's okay. You can either cut it off or you can even wrap, double wrap it just a little bit just to make sure it's extra secure. And the main purpose for this is just to make it look cleaner. You don't really have to do this, um, but it, I will tell you that um, when it doesn't have this on there, it looks a little bit messy. So this will cover it. Okay, now make sure that your tentacles are not stuck into each other. So you're just going to spread them out a little bit like this. And now because it is video magic, I'm going to magically make a completed set up here. Of course, I did it earlier today to make sure that I have one done for the video. But the lanterns that I chose are actually a string of lights, so I can actually turn them on. So thank you all for tuning in, and that is how you make jellyfish lanterns.